It's probably been about like four years since I last did a Super Mario 64 run. It, it's been a while. Now then, it's worth mentioning. I've got a timer above me. This is not, this run is not getting uploaded. I, I would do way more practice if I wanted to actually upload a run to speedrun.com. I literally just have this timer here because I want to see how I do while also not remembering any of the run tricks. We're going to be doing 16 star. It's a very short category. I should be able to do it in, in theory, I should be able to do it in under 20 minutes. We'll see how long it takes when I have to pause to look up how to do MIPS clip, but that's besides the point. Uh, and also, finally, I am playing on NSO. Alright, let's just jump into it. I don't remember how to do anything. Literally nothing. I want to reiterate, this is not an actual s speed run. It's uh, This is just for entertainment purposes, and as such, this will also be edited. I'm not going to make you guys sit there while I try and figure out how to do the simplest shit imaginable. I don't remember how to do Lakitu. It's fine. It's fine. So I speed ran Super Mario 64. Okay, it's fine. A little bit in quarantine, and I haven't since then. Fuck. <laughs> Everyone needed something to do during quarantine. For a lot of people, it was Animal Crossing. For me, it was kind of Animal Crossing. But it was mostly speedrunning Super Mario 64. See, so yeah, I have it right next to me, it's proof. Here's my controller. It's a green controller. And I think the stick on it is broken now. What? Right, something on my controller just didn't work, but it's fine. Also, I was not supposed to go back in here. <laughs> it's fine, it's a time save. Get the swamps faster. This video is basically just gonna be get the stars that I remember how to get. Fuck. <laughs> God, do I even go for cannonless? I don't remember how to do cannonless. No, we don't go for cannonless here. I might give it a go if we like desperately need one more star. Dude, my movement is so sick with it. He says it. No! <laughs> I was gonna say, he says as he does, like, the most average Super Mario 64 movement ever. And then I fucked up, so I guess below average. So we're already at the five minute mark. I don't think we're making good time. <laughs> All Super Mario 64 speedrun knowledge completely left my brain. Because you have to recognize, this was before I knew anything about, like, YouTube or recording. So I don't have splits, I don't even know what my best times were. It was look at the clock and see how I did. And also speedrunning Super Mario 64 for me only happened like in between Odyssey. Cause the Odyssey came out and I, oh shit. Odyssey came out and I speedran that a little bit until like 2018, 2019. And then I wanted to try 64 speedrunning and then I went back to Odyssey. Please tell me I hit it. Okay, thank God. <laughs> I would be willing to do an Odyssey run. My best Odyssey run is like an hour 45, which isn't that good for any percent. I don't think, I think any percent's sub one hour now. But whether or not I speed run a game isn't even like, I want to compete to be some of the best. I literally just, I like game. I want to see how fast I can beat game. <laughs> Fuck, I messed up the slide shortcut. That's like the easiest shortcut in the game. <laughs> All right, it's fine, it's fine. I just need to hit it next time. Any logical speedrunner would reset here, but we're not really going for a good time right now, so. No, we're seeing this through to the end, because I said so. It's fine, minor time loss. It's only like, what, two minutes in a 20 minute run? <laughs> Actually, I, I think 16 star is sub 15 minutes now. So, um, we're close. Now here's the thing. 
Is it worth risking my dignity to get red coins here? Because on one hand, I think I can do Dark World first try without getting red coins. I think trying to get red coins is what will screw me over. Yeah, kind of like that. Uh, I honestly don't know what world record 16 star does here. I probably should have at least watched the world record 16 star run before doing this, but... I don't need to know, like, updated speedrun strats and garbage like that. That's not helpful for a speedrun. I missed a red coin. Shit. Wait, did I miss two? Probably fine. D did I miss two, guys? You you would tell me if I missed two, right? Oh, there it is. Okay, yeah, yeah, we're good, we're good. <clears throat> Sorry, I got a frog stuck in my throat. Shit. Ooh, okay, not good. Sorry, it's um, been a while since I'm just gonna take the stairs. <laughs> uh, so I think 16 star, like the world record, just finished. Not like this boss fight, I mean just finished the game. Or at least I never missed Bowser throws. What was the delay on that? Okay, I guess I got it anyways. I, I swear I pressed the button when it was facing the one in front of me. I... I, I don't even, I'm not gonna question it. I, I did it. <laughs> All right, I don't think this is even. Mamma mia. Little known fact, speedrunners very frequently die in their best runs. So that's how you know this one's gonna be good. <gasps> okay, we're fine, we're fine. We're okay. Shit, <laughs> not okay. <laughs> Ow! It's fine. Now we go for Swimming Beast in the cavern. Beautiful. I didn't quite land on the star, but we we're close enough. Wait, are there even any other stars I'm supposed to be getting here? Can I get the one up top? I'm pretty sure that's a thing. <laughs> the moment I hit it. Yeah, okay. Thank you, Toad. Is it... I think it's 14 stars for MIPS to show up, isn't it? Or no, it's 15. Never mind. Obviously. I get 15, then I get the submarine one, and then we go straight to Bowser. Oh fuck, I have to BLJ with no practice. <laughs> oh no, I have to do that with no practice. Uh, I'll just use the box. It's not worth embarrassing myself more. Um, this is not the speedrun path. People go for the the bird in the desert, but I, I'm not good enough at that. I think I'm I think I'm better off getting red coins here. Red coins at Lethal Lava Land is a very easy star. So easy, in fact, that um, it's most runners go to very common star to get. Come here, you rat bastard. Oh, why am I in first person? Okay. Shit, I messed up. This isn't even speedrun stuff. This is just the base game. There we go, Jesus. Shit. 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 Fuck. Super Mario 64 MIPS clip tutorial. Your dive, you'll punch the door like with your face, and Mips will go through the door. So now you turn around and you go through the door, you start punching or grabbing. Eventually, you'll grab Mips when he's in the door, and now you just do like you did uh, in the original method. Um, if you don't know what you do here, I'll teach you real quick because I'm a nice guy. Uh, first, you run against the wall. And you want to be perpendicular, just going a little bit left at a time until you sink down into this wall. 
into the star door, not the this wall. Well, I don't know what I was talking about. And uh, you just hold down Z and hold down forward, and you'll get inside. Thank you, Pie Frenzy. You uploaded this ten years ago. Everyone, go subscribe to Pie Frenzy. What an absolute G that man that man is. He just saved our run. <laughs> we might still make world record. Fuck. <laughs> I knew that triple jump wasn't gonna make it up the moment I did the second jump. <laughs> Fire C is just so horrendously easy. Like, even as a child, I knew Fire C was the simplest level in the game. There is no threats. It's just move forward. <laughs> Ow. Uh-oh. Okay, I got it. I, I don't miss Bowser throws. I, I already said this. I don't miss. Um, now I... Enter Fire Sea again, right? And then quit out and leave. And that'll teleport me to the center of the castle? Yeah. Fuck, now I have to do BLJs. It's fine. I'm so good at Super Mario 64. You can tell by my world record time. And the thing with BLJs is it's not even about speed, it's about consistency. Bro, I'm gonna go crazy. Uh, if you wonder why I hold my controller up here when I do it, I don't know. It just makes it easier to spam with my hand at this angle for some reason. <laughs> How to BLJ consistently. And what he said is basically that you have to press A on very specific frames instead of just smashing as fast as you can, which makes sense. Those frames being one, four, and six, or one, four, and eight, and after whatever timing you went for, just ma- There we go. There- uh-oh! Now I get to flex how good I am at Bowser in the sky. The answer is... I'm not. Alright Bowser, we've been over this. I don't miss. So prepare your ass. That sounds not good. F I missed. <laughs> uh, that's a hit. I think that bomb is the closest now, right? Yeah. That's a hit! Okay. <laughs> Chat. This might be the best goddamn 16 star run you've seen in your goddamn life. Ready with split? Ready with split? 37.55! Let's fucking go! Honestly, better than I thought I would do after four or five years of not having... Or, I guess it would be a little over... I guess it would be a little under four years is when I last did a Super Mario 64 speedrun. Honestly, I did expect to do worse. I thought I would be stuck on MIPS for like an hour. I thought I wouldn't be able to BLJ for like an hour. There's definitely some time to shave off here. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much for watching. This is probably all of the contribution my YouTube channel will ever make to the Super Mario 64 speedrunning community. Uh, but on the off chance that I do come back to it, subscribe, just in case uh, I do decide to stick around here. Well, I mean, hopefully I don't stick around here. Hopefully I'll get like lower times if I do it again.
Thank you so much for playing my game.